just arrived here at Davy Crockett State Park and we are going to unload the camper. So I'm going to show you how we set up. We're going to set up the awning out here because we had some questions about it in our last video. Uh, this is a homemade awning and Denton's going to set it up. I'm going to show you how we set up in the camper and get ready for our evening making dinner having some cocktails. Okay, so like Ashley said, we just got here and we're ready to set up our campsite. And in here is pretty much everything that we need for out there. Power, water, all, all the stuff, awning. So let's get it out. We're gonna show you how, to, uh, how we use it all and set it all up. Here we are. So this is everything that we need for outside of the camper to get camp set up. We have the awning that we made, specialty. Uh, the posts for the awning, cord and stakes to hold it all up. You gotta have string lights because why even go glamping? Scissor jacks to keep this thing from rocking. Power hookup. So this gets us, uh, gets us power from the 30 amps. Well, it's a 30 amp hookup, so this is what we need to plug in our power cord, which is essential. Our camper runs off of 30 amps instead of 15, so we can run everything all the time. This is our drainage bucket for our sink. Very fancy, we don't have black water tank, so this is it. Crucial, citronella candles. Also crucial, hatchet, foldable shovel. Never leave home without them. This is awesome. It's a solo stove. So uh, fire pit without all the smoke. It's awesome. Never leave home without a solar powered flamingo light. Water hose to keep that fresh water flowing. And a log carrier to carry the logs to the fire. So here we go, y'all. We'll put it all together and show you what it looks like at the end. All right, so this is our awning. When we got the camper, it didn't come with an awning, uh, but it did have the awning railing on it. So getting a camper awning for these old guys is really hard and they can be expensive to buy. But fortunately for us, we make bags and sew. So we have a lot of sewing machines. And so we decided to just make our own. So we got some sunbrella material, which is great. And um, this is it. Okay, so as you can see, we got the awning up on the track there. And so now it's for the tent poles. And they, uh, we just got these on Amazon. They're retractable. And then they just go into the grommets here. And then we pull them out, stake them up with some string and we're good to go. Now we have the awning up. Now we gotta put the string lights up. So when we were making this, we put grommets all around the outer edge with carabiner hooks to make it easy to just clip in the string lights. Um, so let's do it. and I'll show you how I set up the camper when we first arrive. So first things first is I kind of make sure all the pillows and everything are uh, fixed because they get kind of moved around when we're traveling. I set up our cozy little blanket nook and get that all set so we can immediately relax if we're ready. Kitchen's pretty easy. 
Um, things get moved around a lot as I'm going, but first I try to get this over here and then I work on the kitchen. So we have this little table placemat that Denton made us out of an old blanket and we actually sell this blanket. So you can buy this on Hunker Beko and it's really cool because it has a Thunderbird on it and, but this is cut up, but it does have this really cool design. So I put this down and I put this little basket. This is a bowl that we thrifted. All of this stuff is thrifted. And I always put this here on the table. We put our keys and stuff in it. And then coasters, hunker coasters, of course. Tear cards, cause that's always fun. And then I like to keep a book over here just for display. And this time I brought Nevada Ghost Towns. I have the Colorado Ghost Town book by the same author. And this one is the Nevada one, which I have not read and I'm really excited to. I always have a ghost town book whenever we travel. And then a little candle to get us in the mood. And our dining room nook is set up. Up here, these baskets, we just got these at a yard sale. And we really didn't know what to do with this space. We were putting like bags up here and pillows and it was just always looking messy. So we are utilizing these and right now because we're doing a small trip we're just keeping our clothes in here if we were doing a bigger trip we'd have a suitcase and we'd keep it underneath but for now this is what we're doing and all of our camera equipment wine the essentials and then over here in the kitchen um we just built this little um hook situation here and denton put this in and this is just so we can hang stuff and make it easy to cook so I have like my measuring cups and spoons and then these cute little copper pots that my dad got us for Christmas. And then I just kind of get that set up and we're ready to cook. This is a great little piece of, if you, if you watched my last video, uh, you saw that Denton left this in the garage, but he didn't this time. So we actually have our cutting board. So uh, I'm actually really excited to have it. So come on in. So over here is something I'm really excited to show you. I have a very sore back from doing this for two days straight, actually three days straight. So come on in and see our newly renovated bathroom that still needs shelves, but the special part is done. Oh, it is all jungle wallpaper. So this is our new bathroom. I am so excited about it. It is exactly what I wanted. It was this really small space in here that just needed a little pop of something. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to bring this wallpaper in and cover the whole room since it was a small space. I have always wanted to just do an entire room in wallpaper and we didn't quite get that with our bathroom in our house we just did one wall of actually the same print because we loved it so much but this whole room is um floor to ceiling wallpaper so love it very excited and that's about it so den and i are gonna go have some wine he's cooking steaks tonight and we're gonna relax hang out and we'll see you tomorrow for some lost or remote cooking stay tuned David Crockett State Park is beautiful. I highly recommend you come and stay here if you camp like us. It's really quiet. There's beautiful hikes. There's a lot of history to it. And actually the Trail of Tears goes right through here and you can walk along the trail and learn all about it. After 
our morning coffee, we packed up the truck and headed out to explore the nearby towns. that it was a museum. It is a free museum, so I definitely recommend you pop in. I think you could maybe spend 10, maybe 20 minutes tops there. So highly recommend it. Maybe make it one of your first stops so you can learn a little bit about the town before you explore. But we're gonna go explore a little bit more and see what Pulaski has to offer. Okay, so we stopped in at a drugstore here called Reeves, and we stopped in because we saw all these really cool old bottles, so I could tell it was a pretty old pharmacy, and behind us they still have what appears to be the parlor, a little ice cream shop of the drugstore, which they used to have back in the day. It was really cool, so we popped in and got a little piece of pie, and yeah, it's just a beautiful day, and this is a really cool place, so yeah. definitely worth stopping in. Especially they have sandwiches, ice cream, pie. So if you're here, stop in Reeves and get yourself something and just enjoy the experience because it's really cool. It's really cool. A lot of really cool things in there. I would say really good prices on pictures, like artwork. It's just a lot of like cool kind of like westerny, old southern things. So, and if you need dishes, let me tell you, that's the place to go. I've never seen so many dishes in an antique store ever. So, I think my mother would collapse if she went in there. So, we'll have to bring her back. But yeah, it's a cool little square. Lots to uh, lots to see and do if you like antiquing. Definitely come to downtown Lawrenceburg because you could probably spend a couple hours here. So. wanted to make a pioneer inspired dinner for you because we're staying at David Crockett State Park which is in Lawrenceburg Tennessee it's very historic as well as the nearby town of Pulaski both have really amazing historic downtowns that are very well preserved and I just felt really inspired by this area and all the history it has to it to make you a pioneer inspired dish I'm making a potato soup that is from the early American cookbook then I made a molasses bread earlier before the trip and brought it with us to have along with the soup. This is something that uh, early American settlers absolutely did is they made like a molasses or a rye bread and they'd have that with a lot of their different stews and dinners, breakfast, etc. We're going to get started on this pioneer inspired dish tonight. I'm really excited and then we're going to have dinner by the fire. So Denton's getting that fire going and we're going to eat and I will see you soon. Let's get started. <music>
and I are gonna eat our soup. We're gonna drink our wine, call it a night, and head to bed. Cheers.